what would you like to improve about your health? This is a question I often ask people after they've got through maybe their initial phase of chiropractic, maybe their initial symptoms, whatever they were dealing with, are doing better, they're feeling better overall. And I say, well, what would you like to improve about your health? What would you like to see get better? And a lot of times they're doing pretty good. It's like, ah, I don't know, they don't really have a specific goal. And I wanna encourage you why this is so important to always have a target for your health. No matter how well that you're doing, no matter whatever pressing symptoms or non-symptoms that you might be having, it's really important to have a target. Let me explain to you why. A couple of different reasons. Number one, you have something in your brain, in your brain stem, a group of cells called the reticular activating system, RAS, reticular activating system. And it's literally like the Google search engine of your brain. So it constantly is scanning your environment for information. And of course, we take in billions of bits of information to our nervous system every single second. What we're seeing, what we're feeling, what we're hearing, what we're tasting. And that's on the external. We also have the internal environment. So our brain has all this information coming up to it, but it can only consciously focus on a very small bit of that. And that's gonna be based on what you program it to look for. Have you ever done this before? You bought maybe a new pair of shoes. You never really noticed them before, but now you can see everybody has those shoes on. Or you notice a certain type of car that you wanted to get. This happened when I wanted to buy my first truck. I started to see those particular trucks, the Dodge Dakotas, everywhere. I never really noticed them before because my brain was looking for that specific thing. So if you don't have a target or a goal, then your brain's going to go to the lowest common denominator. It's going to think for things for to complain for, different things like that. But if you have a target, let's say with your health, you can have a short-term target and a long-term target. Maybe your long-term target is, man, when I'm 75 years old, I still want to be out skiing and hiking and doing these physical activities, you know, very high-level physical activities. Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to start to look for things that are going to affect your joints and keep you in good physical shape so that long term you can achieve that target. Your nervous system's gonna be more keyed into those choices that you're gonna make. And again, same thing on the short term. And you want this to be specific. So rather than just saying, I wanna lose some weight, be very specific. I wanna feel great at my ideal weight of 180 pounds or 130 pounds or, or whatever that number is. Or I wanna have an, my ideal body fat of X, Y, Z. Then again, you have that goal in front of you, that target, and your brain is gonna to start to scan in your, your environment for solutions to that problem. And so when you go to eat that cookie, your nervous system is gonna go, ah, oh, you said you wanted to achieve this target, and you're more likely to make a better choice just by, again, doing that programming. So I really encourage you to have a short-term target and then a long-term target, something that you wanna achieve out five, 10, 20 years in the future, so it's going to affect your decisions today. And remember that your health is a process not an event, it's a process, not an event. Whatever things you're dealing with today are the accumulation of the last year, five years, 10 years, a lifetime of choices. So wherever you want to arrive at a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, is going to be an accumulation of the choices that you're making today and tomorrow and the next day. So whether you're doing your adjustments or skipping your adjustments, if you're doing your spinal rehab versus not doing your spinal rehab, and it's not about being perfect, but it's making those good choices day after day after day. It's gonna accumulate in that level of health that you desire. So it's a process, not an event.